There is big buzz right now ahead of the nation's most anticipated tech show of the year. And before tomorrow's opening of the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, some companies are giving us a sneak peek. CBS 2's Kara Suboy reports. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. More and more automakers are using CES as a car show, and the all-electric brand Byton hit the ground first. Its m SUV goes on sale in the U.S. next year and puts entertainment in the driver's seat. The massive infotainment center shows everything from sports scores to text messages. Owners will even be able to stream video thanks to a new partnership with Viacom CBS. I imagine that when you're driving, you cannot watch the video on this big screen. Is that correct? You're correct. Um, while we're driving, will disable the video mode. But drivers can watch when parked, and that might be handy during charging at a station, which takes about 35 minutes. Automaker Ford is introducing a robot, one of many at CES this year. The company purchased the Digit and is looking to see if it could one day be part of a new delivery system that brings packages to your door. Wearables are always popular, and now there's even one for your baby's diaper. Lumi by Pampers has a webcam, smartphone app, and diaper device that tracks a baby's sleep and also detects wet diapers. Presenting the Samsung Q950. TVs are always big news at CES. Samsung's latest has a tiny edge, making the set 99% picture. The company also has a TV with a twist. The Cero rotates vertically to make it easier to watch videos recorded on a phone. The things that people want to show at CES are these amazing products that make you go, wow, that's really cool. And more cool tech aiming to shape the future is expected as CES officially gets underway. I'm CNET's Kara Suboy for CBS News, Las Vegas. And the Consumer Electronics Show runs through this Friday.